suspect who's been in the national spotlight before is back behind bars tonight, accused of stalking several women in Russellville. Thanks for joining us tonight at 5. I'm Ashley Katz. This all happened last night. The first at the First Baptist Church on South Denver Street. The second incident on the Arkansas Tech campus. Police quickly arrested Gary Dunn, who was tried twice but never convicted in the murder of Nona Dirksmeyer in 2005. Stephanie Sharp is following this story. She's live tonight in Russellville. And Stephanie, you spoke to one of his victims. I did, Ashley. That's right. Now, Dunn is sitting behind me in the Pope County Detention Center at this hour. He does have a history. He was convicted of battery back in 2002 for attacking a Russellville woman on a running trail. We were able to speak with her today about this latest arrest. I noticed him. He was kind of out of place. More than 16 years later, this woman can describe the day Gary Dunn attacked her along the Bonadilla Trail in Russellville. When I turned around, he had a huge branch and he, he hit me over the head with it, knocked me off the trail, sat on top of me, beat me and beat me and beat me. She doesn't want to show her face or use her name. She was able to escape that day. According to court documents, he was ordered to prison in 2003. He got out early. He didn't He didn't serve his full sentence. Years later, she was a character witness in the Nona Dirksmeyer case, in which Dunn was accused of murdering the 19-year-old. He was tried twice, but never convicted. She says she wasn't surprised to see him arrested Tuesday night. It's just a matter of time, and here we are again. In my time here with the Russell Police Department, you know, we've had multiple dealings with Mr. Dunn. Russellville Police Captain David Ewing says Tuesday evening Dunn tried to kidnap a woman at the First Baptist Church parking lot as well as spoke to a female student at Arkansas Tech's campus. Both victims were shooken up. Uh, we're just glad they're both okay. They believe more victims may be out there and ask anyone who has been stalked by someone in this car to come forward. We can you know, add that to our case file and investigate that also with this. Dunn sits in jail and this woman believes that's where he belongs. This man will do it over and over again until he's put away. And again, if you do believe you have been stalked by Dunn, you're asked to call the Russellville Police Department or your local law enforcement agencies. He's still sitting in jail tonight, and he has a $100,000 bond. Reporting live from Russellville, I'm Stephanie Sharp. Back to you. All right, Stephanie, thanks very much. Arkansas Tech student Nona Dirksmeyer was beaten to death in 2005. Her boyfriend, Kevin Jones, was first accused of the crime, but he was acquitted. Prosecutors later charged Jer Gary Dunn with murder. DNA evidence at the scene linked him to the crime. Two separate trials ended with deadlocked juries. The murder charges were dismissed, but officials say they could bring those charges and refile them at a later date.